what is up my Canadian cousins welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome if this is your first time here thank you so much for uh, helping me grow this channel we are slowly but surely uh, growing and uh, very much very much appreciate all of you I just don't say it enough I don't think and I, I want to make sure that you all know that all right you know I weave in and out of history um, and culture weave in and out of Canadian history and culture on this channel and uh, after having done some history recently, I am going back to a cultural reaction, specifically music. And um, ever since I've uh, explored further Gordon Lightfoot, and I expressed to you how much I have always loved him and I've known about him for a long time, but I wanted to celebrate him because he wasn't as well known to Americans as he should be. Um, and then we got into Stompin' Tom Connors and you know, I've discussed how much I love folk music. I've gotten requests frequently to do uh, Stan Rogers. And I don't know who he is. This is one I, I have no prior knowledge of. Um, unfortunately, in looking for a video to do, I can see that there are a lot of videos that say remembering Stan Rogers. Um, and it seems like it's been a long time since he's passed away. So he's obviously not with us anymore. And that makes things quite sad, uh, just as I felt in falling in love with the Tragically Hip, only to learn that Gord Downey passed away years ago, seven years, seven years ago, I think it was now. In any case, um, let's get to Stan Rogers, and this is Barrett's Privateers. After the first album, which is uh, almost entirely about the scene, about this area, um, I thought I'd get out of it, you know, I, I, I'd started out as a contemporary songwriter, you know, uh, and, but I found I couldn't, I couldn't leave it alone. You know, once you get, once you get hooked on a thing like this, you get the C in front of you all the time, you, you can't leave it alone. Now, with Barrett's Privateers, for example, uh, I wrote that after hanging out for a weekend with the Friends of Fiddler's Green, who did great shanties, you know. But they were all, you know, they all knew the songs, and they could sing the leads in them. Well, I wanted a shanty that I could sing the lead in. You know, instead of just hanging back and singing harmony on the chorus, I wanted to lead one, you know, so I had to write it. On the 96th day we sailed out. I'll back up to start the song. I just wanted to comment that, uh, you know, his lo his love of the sea like that, I share. I mean, I, I think I haven't been there yet, and I really want to go, um, you know, to the maritime provinces. And uh, I, I believe I have an affinity for it. Uh, I come from an Atlantic coast island not quite the same because our population is much higher i grew up on long island um the further east you go the more new england style it is than um new york city suburb i live western long island now but on on the south shore and uh you know no matter where you are on the island whether you are further west right near new york city or further east closer to rhode island and connecticut just across long island sound we still have that um, you know, history, uh, fishing culture, and the Atlantic coast history. And uh, I'm sure, you know, the further up the coast I go, in particular Maine, you know, um, and, and there's less population, I just love it. And I believe that I would absolutely love the maritime provinces. And uh, I can't wait to visit. Um, so he's going to be singing a, a sea shanty. Uh, and, and this seems really cool to me. Okay, let's get back to it. And how I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. When a bloody great Yankee hove in sight, with our cracked four founders we made to fight. God damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on the Halifax Pier. The last of our is for Iva lay low down with gold. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. She was broad and fat and loose in stays, but to catch her took the antelope two whole days. God damn them all. 
I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. And at length we stood two cables away. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. Our cracked four pounders made an awful din, but with one fat ball the Yanks stole us in. <laughs> God damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's parade of tears. Well, I don't want to stop at all, but I also don't want to get this video blocked. L listen, guys, I, I love I love this. Immediately love this. Um, and I, I chose this one because I saw them sitting around this table. I, I do absolutely want to react to others wh while he's on stage playing instruments. But this is just exactly what I had in mind. Um, maybe I didn't realize there was going to be so much of a Celtic influence on on it, and there certainly is. Um, I love Irish folk music. I love uh, folk music from the British Isles. Uh, I've, I've reacted on this channel before to Steel Eye Span, which is a, a British folk band that also includes, the, the, they, they sing English, Scottish, and Irish folk music, and uh, but, but to electric instruments, and it's, it's so cool if you want to check that out. This is more traditional where there aren't electric instruments, but maybe he does play with them. I'll, I'll have to look, but I just love this. Sitting by the table, harmonizing beautifully. His voice is, um, I, I'm not an expert on, you know, alto, tenor, baritone. It, 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 to me, and I may be wrong on this, has a sort of baritone quality to it, um, you know, which is complemented by the other uh, guys in the group here and I think they're overlooking the coast you know this just reminds me of like the lighthouse keepers you know cottage or something like that where they'd be sitting around the table uh this is thank you thank you thank you I was in Sherbrooke now Barrett was smashed like a bowl of eggs And the main truck carried off both my legs God damn them all I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold We'd fire no guns, shed no tears Now I'm a broken man on the Halifax Fair The last of Barrett's privateers So here I lay in my twenty, thirty year How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now It's been six years since we sailed away and I just made Halifax yesterday. God damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier. The last of Barrett's Guys, I love that very much, as I just said, um, and I thank you so much for that suggestion. I can't wait to dive into more of this, and uh, if you don't mind, I probably will very soon. Yeah, you know, it, it, another another guy who is uh, singing folk music to Canadian-specific um, content, um, subject matter. You know, a privateer isn't necessarily Canadian-specific, but he you know keeps singing about. Um, coming into the Halifax Pier, and Halifax obviously is uh, a very old colonial port city in Nova Scotia. I know that quite well. Um, in fact, I know when the um, the British uh, vacated Boston uh, in the Revolutionary early on in the Revolutionary War, because uh, George Washington's troops had placed uh, artillery emplacements around and on the high ground in Dorchester Heights. Uh, the place where they went to was Halifax. They took off to Halifax, and I think that was also the staging ground for the invasion of New York by the British. But anyway, I'm digressing, as I as I'm want to do. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Let me look very quickly. Now that, you know, I said in the beginning of this, I do know he passed away some time ago, and that's terrible and sad. You know, again, I'm missing the boat on this. I um, want to know a little bit more about that, so hold on a second, and I'm going to... Take a look. Oh, okay, so I'm reading his uh, the Wikipedia page on him on Stan. Uh, okay, so I see he was born in Ontario, Hamilton, Ontario. That surprises me a little bit. I thought he had like the 
Maritimes in his blood. Okay, so his family was from the Maritimes, and he spent a lot of time visiting a uh, family in Guysboro County, Nova Scotia. So he became familiar with the ways of the Maritimes. Um, I also saw a, a song in, when I was looking for the videos, Northwest Passage, and that looks really cool. I want to get to that. Um, cause I, obviously the content of that is something quite different than the experience of people from the Maritimes. Um, so obviously he's not a, a one trick pony as far as uh, content and subject matter goes. Okay. Oh, 1778. I wish I was oh man. I, in 19, he died in 1983. Only well, he was young, 33 years old. I guess because he's lost his hair early, he looked older than that. He seems older than that. He seemed more mature in his voice and in his singing. Air Canada flight, fire, uh, had to land at Greater Cincinnati Airport in Northern Kentucky and died of smoke inhalation. The plane doors were open and allowed five crew and 18 of the 41 passengers to escape, but approximately 90 seconds into the evacuation, the oxygen rushing in from outside caused a flash fire. Oh my God. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I just went from the high of listening to this great music to the low of learning how he passed away so many years ago in this tragic accident. Gosh. All right, my friends. Well, <laughs> sorry to leave on such a negative note, but I cannot wait to get more into this. Um, it was just so cool. Thank you guys for suggesting this to me. And a few of you said who've gotten to know me a little bit, you know, from doing this channel, we're, we're sure I would like this and you were absolutely right. Thank you so much. I will see you soon, my friends. Take care. The seas for American gold with fire, no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's brave tears.